I'm gonna make a really quick video showing how to load film in this camera and how to use it. This is a Kodak Brownie number two. It takes 120 film. Um, basically, I'll show you the functions of the camera first. This is the shutter lever that you use to take a picture. Every time this shutter lever moves, the shutter opens and it takes a photograph. So you just push it up, it takes a photo, push it down, it takes a photo. Um, really simple. As you look through this opening, um, you can see the shutter moving, you can hear it moving. There's a couple of controls up here. This little lever right here is for taking time exposures. So when this is up and you hit the shutter lever, the shutter stays open. Um, you could use this to take time exposures at night or in low light. If you're taking a time exposure, you absolutely have to put the camera on a table or some other solid support because otherwise the picture is gonna be blurry and it's not gonna come out. So most of the time when you're taking photos, when you're taking your regular snapshot photos, that's probably most of the photos that you're gonna take, make sure that this thing is pushed down. The other control is this thing. I'm gonna lift this up again so we can uh, hold the shutter open and maybe you can see what goes on here. This thing controls the apertures, so uh, let's open this up. So when this is, um, when this is down, the aperture is at its biggest size. This is what I use almost all the time. If you only ever use this aperture, your pictures are gonna be fine. Um, if you lift this up to position number two, it's slightly smaller. And if you pull this thing all the way out, it goes to position number three, which is really small. Um, one way that you could maybe use this is you could use this medium one on really sunny days and the larger one, if you're taking pictures in some shade or on a cloudier day, um, Another thing that you could try doing is uh, if it's really, really bright, like uh, snow or a desert or a beach or something, you could even try using the very smallest aperture if you wanted. But like I say, you could just keep it on this biggest aperture all the time and your pictures are gonna come out fine. They're gonna look great. Um, so here's the film. The film is 120 film. This is a couple of different ones. This is 400 speed film. This is 100 speed film. This isn't like my favorite brands or anything. This is just uh, the cheapest film that I could get. I find that the brand doesn't make a very big difference at all with the quality of the pictures. I do like using Ilford brand film and if it's a really important roll of film, I might spend another dollar more per roll or something to get Ilford film, but most of the time I just use this cheap film. So I'm gonna use this 400 speed film today, which, uh, the speed of the film refers to how much light you need to take a picture. The higher the number, the less light that you need. I usually use 100 speed film because I'm taking pictures outdoors in daylight anyway, um, but I might be taking some pictures on a cloudy day, so today I'll use this uh, 400 speed film. So it comes in a little foil pouch like this. You just open that up, get rid of the pouch. Uh, almost all brands of film, they're gonna, basically any brand of film is gonna have this paper roll around it. You want to remove that completely if you can. Take as much of it off as possible and then you start uh, unwinding this backing paper. To open this camera is very, very simple. You just slide this over, lift this up, and this door will open. This is the Film Advance Winder here. We're going to pull it out while we're turning it like that. You pull it out and then this film cassette will slide right out. So uh, to load the film, you're going to make sure that your spool is in the bottom position. So we're gonna put that spool down here. And then you take your film, you put it in the top position, and you just make sure that these little metal tabs here, uh, which are a little different depending on which model of Kodak Brown you're using, make sure that the, the little button is going into the end of the spool. And then you'll start unwinding this stuff if your Kodak Brownie has this film mask, you need to uh, put this underneath the mask and you'll wind it around. And then you'll insert your, the end of the backing paper into a slot on the film spool. And then you just wind it with your fingers a little bit, just so that it gets started. I'm actually gonna take this take this out so you can see this. You just wind it around a little bit. Might take a couple of tries to get it uh, perfect, right? Just wind that on there a little bit like this. Stick that in there. Make sure that your spool is engaged. 
and then you put this back in the camera. Just slide it in. And shut the door. Okay, now you're gonna push your film advance winder back in while turning it. It only turns one way. And you're gonna to wanna to look into this film window here on the back and you're gonna see some uh, symbols go by. You're gonna see some arrows go by. You might see some lines or some other symbols. You just look in there as you're turning it. And what you're looking for are a series of dots. It depends on the film manufacturer, but um, you're looking for some kind of indication that you're about to be ready to take a picture. So we've seen a couple of arrows and some lines go by. All right, now I'm seeing these dots. So the dots mean I'm gonna slow down, go careful, and I'm looking for a number one, and there it is. So you just center the number one in the film window, and you're ready to take a picture. So uh, this isn't like a more modern camera where you hold it up to your eye. This camera, you hold it down around your waist, and you look down into the viewfinder. The most important thing about taking photos with this camera is to hold it absolutely still. So to do that, you press it against your body, you will breathe out, hold your breath, and then very carefully, very gently, uh, once you've composed your shot, hit this film lever and that takes a picture. Don't push it up and down or it'll make a double exposure. Just push it one time, you'll hear the click of the shutter, and then you look through the film window, you will turn the winder, and you'll keep going until you get to number two, and then you're ready to take your second picture. Uh, have fun.